So in this video I'm just going to talk about tyres again and in particular the foam filled tyres. So I see on the forums and Facebook and things there's a lot of questions get asked about uh, foam filled tyres in particular when it comes to Teslas as well and there's a lot of armchair experts out there and uh, this particular tyre is about to be thrown away so I thought before it goes I'll make this quick video and answer some of those questions. So a foam filled tyre is a relatively new invention and it's an acoustic tyre and it basically just has this foam glued to the inside of the tyre and this reduces noise. So many people think these are unique to Teslas because um, it's probably because they haven't seen one before but they're not it's just the new generation of tyre it's a new idea to reduce the noise and uh, this particular tyre it was fitted to my Tesla but it's actually an A0 tyre which is an Audi spec tyre. So this particular tyre is made by Pirelli, it's a P0 and for my car it is 245 by 45 by 19 102Y. So this one is an A0 uh, tyre as I said so it's um, sort of designed for Audis, they have unique characteristics which they've um, designed in with uh, the manufacturer and the Tesla ones are T0, T1, I think there's a T2 now. You can also get Mercedes spec tyres and um, they do the same for many other brands. So these foam blocks, as you can see, all around the inside of the tyre, they're about two centimetres thick. Uh, this one is wet because um, this tyre's been stored outside, it's an old tyre. But it's a very soft foam and the purpose of it is to absorb vibration and supposedly makes the tyre the tire quieter. However, when I was looking for replacement tyres for my Model S, I found that I could buy a conventional summer tyre, say a more conventional summer tyre, which had a lower decibel rating than these um, or caustic tyres, so they aren't the quietest tyre. And when you're looking at tyres, when you look at that um, EU label and you've got the decibel rating, apparently a three decibel reduction is half the noise. So one question that gets asked a lot is, are they repairable if you get a screw or a nail or whatever in your tyre and you have a puncher? Are these foam filled tyres repairable? Well, the answer is yes, they are, but it does require a bit more work. What you've got to do is cut out the foam. I'm not going to be able to do it with my fingers. You need a knife on there, but you, you remove the relevant um, block of foam, patch the tyre as normal, and then you have to glue that foam back down. So it's a bit more work. And the reality is a lot of tyre places don't know how to do it or don't want to do it. So they'd rather just say no and sell you a new tyre. But if you find somewhere that is willing to do it, then it really isn't that much different to any other tyre. So another common question is if my vehicle has acoustic tyres uh, from new, or if my Tesla has a T0 or T1 spec tyre, do I have to fit the same? Well, again, the answer is no. Uh, you obviously have got to fit the right spec tyre. So it's got to be the right size, in this case, 245 by 45 by 19. And it's got to be the appropriate speed and load rating. But apart from that, you can fit any tyre you like. When we look at my own here, I've actually got Michelin Cross Climates on the Tesla now because I prefer those for the UK climate because in the winter, they're an awful lot safer than using a summer tyre because in the UK our winters aren't bad enough to justify buying winter tyres. So as long as your tyre is the same size and it's got the correct um, speed and load rating then obviously you can fit whatever tyre you deem appropriate for your needs and you also don't need to let your insurance company know if you're fitting a different tyre as long as you're not modifying it, as long as you're not using different size rims and a different size tyre then it's not a modification. Exactly in the same way as if you fitted a different brand of 12 volt battery up front that again isn't a modification and you're not going to let your insurance company know. It's worth noting as well I've seen some cases now in the Tesla group online where customers have had issues with um, 
vibrations and unbalanced wheels and that sort of thing and they've taken their foam filled tyres off and all the foam has become detached from the inside of the tyre has sort of shredded and is rattling around inside the tyre um, and I think I've seen three cases of that now online um, so that's another thing to bear in mind is maybe they're not as robust as uh, they could be however in this case this Pirelli P0 these tyres have worn down to the uh, tread indicators and the foam inside is absolutely perfect. There's a lot of naivety when it comes to tyres for electric cars, in particular for Teslas, uh, from tyre fitters and tyre retailers, and uh, mistakenly say, no, a Tesla must have a T0 tyre. I only saw a case this morning actually on Facebook where a Tesla owner had a quick fit fitter on their drive at the time and he was saying he couldn't fit the tyre. Uh, that uh, he had because it wasn't a T0 tyre. That's not the case. Tyre manufacturers have been doing these special fitment tyres for years. In this case, as I said, this is an AO, an Audi spec tyre, and I bet if that same fitter was fitting a tyre to an Audi diesel, he wouldn't say, sorry, no, I can't fit it, it must be an A0 tyre. So while you can fit these special fitment tyres to your brand of car, um, they're just another model of tyre. You can get summer tyre, winter tyres, uh, run flats, uh, all season tyres, um, high performance summer tyres. There's all these different type of tyres you can get as long as it's the correct size and speed rating and load rating appropriate for the model of car then you, f you obviously can fit whatever tyre is appropriate for your requirements and your needs. So I think that's about all I can say about these. I just wanted to capture these before they go off for recycling. So if you found this video useful, as always, please do click that thumbs up button on YouTube. That really does help and it helps other people find the channel. Do subscribe if you're not and I'll see you on the next video.